Now look at this powder. <sighs> Guys, this is this is the best protein ever. Man, it tastes so freaking nice. It's a fruity cereal, so it's actually like a tastes like a cereal. Man, this is really nice cereal. Uh, protein. Man, that's good. Mm. They're so good. Oh, yes. What's happening, guys? Hope you guys are doing awesome. Today is a beautiful day out, uh, and we're going to do some work on a challenger. Um, so, for you who are first time on this channel, don't uh, forget to hit that subscribe button and give me some love, share, and like this video. So, today we're going to work on a challenger. We're going to do something inside which is i'm exit super excited about this little project so let's get into it guys so what are we gonna be doing we're gonna be installing el wire um in the dash and a middle console so the wire is gonna go all around uh, here and obviously uh the middle console all around the middle console it shouldn't be hard uh thing to do except like popping this thing and run the wire through transmission component so for those of you uh, who has a model like mine and don't have a light underneath the dash which you that's where uh, a lot of people I see hooking up that wire into the light and that that's that way and I see a lot of people have the comments well what about those who don't have that light and then people respond back, well, you forget it. No, actually you could do it. So I got mine that runs through the USB cord. So a lot of you guys who has that light up there, starting out from here and run the wire here, 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 run through their dash and go in this way and cut in the wire here. So pretty much what are we gonna do? We're gonna do everything backwards. We're gonna start from here because I have USB and I don't have that light. So we're gonna run through here, through here, put that wire into the console, and the rest uh, goes all around here and finishing here. So for those of you guys who, who don't have that light, you can still run it through the USB, and which is makes it nice, nicer, because if you run it uh, through the USB, you could always turn it off. Because if you run it through the light up there, yeah, of course you don't have to turn it on and on, but it's always going to be on so during the day if you're driving you don't able to see the light so actually it's kind of sucks plus it eats energy out of your battery so i kind of like it that it goes through the i also got this cool knobs for the control up here so we could just put them on as well they all fits really nicely here we go this one goes here and this one goes here Heck yeah, it actually gives a little bit nicer look, you know, matches everything else, it was red. <laughs> that looks cool actually, I like it. wire through the this dash and uh, up here 
and you tie in this, tie the wire, and then easy to pull it in because that's the hardest part to put the wire through here. So we're just gonna, like I said again, we're gonna put the wire through it, tie it up and pull it out. So, all right guys, we finally got the wire through the console. That took freaking forever. So now I'm just typing the end of the EL wire to the metal wire and we're gonna pull it out. Be careful not to lose it. Right. Or that's gonna be. It sucks. Yeah. No, 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 that's fine. Let it go. That's it. Finally installed this EL wire in, and uh, here's the middle console. It definitely looks really nice. It matches the rest of the car and stands out really nicely. So the hardest part was to install this is right up here to run the wire through the, this uh, transmission unit and into the side of the middle console and run the wire the rest of that there so was the hardest part was up here but other than that uh it took us at least half hour or so so we also gonna be doing the door some point um i don't know when so the wire is gonna go all around the door panel uh, it's not gonna be light up because it's just another whole level which I, I saw how it's done on YouTube you have to pop the whole freaking door um, piece and running the wire through up here and connect it so it, it, it's just a whole another level so I'm, we're just gonna do just a basic not light up uh, a trim all around the doors and it will look nice too all right guys i'm gonna go over really quick with you again that will help you out with your installation so for those who don't have that light underneath which everybody is installing hooking up to that light you could still do it without it so usb connector uh run the wire all the way around here all around here this is where uh the end this is where i'm hiding my wire uh in under the middle console so i just popped it up and it's hiding up here here's where the hardest part was um, to put the wire through here through the side so you have to pull something in it like a wire hook tighten it up pulling and after that you just run it hide it this wire here run into your under your um dash coming out from here and run it all around it and that's it guys so we're gonna test it out uh, the final uh, product at night when it gets dark and uh, stay tuned guys it's gonna be cool all right guys so I'm gonna show you the finished product what it looks like I think it looks amazing I love how it looks so let me turn the light off and I'm gonna show you what it looks like
уничтожил, я не помню точно больше тонны Не, ну а чё нам? Я был в роли заключённого, сложным пациентом Несколько раз двигал кони конкретно от этого Некоторые уходили незаметно Alright guys, so there you guys have it. Um, definitely stands out inside the car. Uh, I believe they should have done it from the factory like that. But, you know, it is what it is. Anyways, thank you for watching this video. Give me a like, share this video. And don't forget to hit subscribe button for next upcoming videos. I appreciate it a lot. And until next time guys.